Hi everybody, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas and today I'm going to be talking about my bookish Disney merch. Now I haven't been on booktube a lot this year and that's because I started hyper focusing on something else. Like everyone else I struggled with the pandemic and so to find comfort I reached back to like other like things I found joy and nostalgia in and I really grasped on being a, a Disney adult. I started watching all these Disney vlogs, I started watching so much Disney Plus, and I started collecting a lot of Disney merch. Like a lot of Disney merch. So much so that I'm a little embarrassed that I have all this crap now. But you know, I digress. I actually think it got so bad because I held so much stake in my like personality in regards to Harry Potter and the houses and all of that. And then of course, JK Rowling came out as a turf, which absolutely devastated me. And so I found myself stepping away from that. Like I still love the world of Harry Potter, but I don't love her. And I also didn't want to give the illusion that I wasn't an ally to the people around me. So I kind of put you no know, Harry Potter up on the shelf and then I went to grab Disney in instead. Not to say that Disney isn't problematic in itself as well. But I digress, I keep rambling. So let's get into the stuff that I'm really most proud of. Or I feel like, not necessarily most proud of, but the stuff that I like really relate to in regards, you know, to this newfound personality. So basically I'll be showing stuff from out of print and Loungefly today and I'll start with the out of print stuff. I've been a long time shopper of out of print. I've always loved their stuff. But once I realized that they had a Disney collection, all bets were off. I especially love their tags. Ooh, that was worse has, you know, the little typical Disney tag letting you know Disney and uh, Disney owns it. Uh, but it's this tag. It looks like an old school library, like due date card. And I'm always, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And I've always been obsessed with their little retail tags. Here's the shirt that started it all. Uh, I started watching Mandalorian and I love little baby Yoda. I know his name's Grogu, but he'll always be and forever be baby Yoda. I like how that this is like really reminiscent of those like old breed posters that was all over the library, at least all over my library growing up. I'm sure they're still around. Uh, we don't have any at the library I work at, which is kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure they're still around. We do actually have this on a bookmark. Read, this is the way. And you're gonna have to excuse how wrinkled these shirts are. I just took them out of the drawer and I haven't had time to steam anything. This next one is also a black shirt. I'm really kind of sad that a lot of the shirts that at least the prints that I like tend to be black. I like a good black shirt, but I'm more of a person that likes to wear my more brighter clothes. As I say, as I realize I'm wearing a black turtleneck, I like brighter clothes and you're going to see that in the next few shirts, but I had to have this. Books are fantastic. It's a really cool print. And I also have a purse that kind of matches with it. And when I say I have a lot of Disney merch, I'm, I'm not kidding. All this is stuff I recently bought too within the last two months. So I guess you could, could consider this like a haul of sorts. This one I love. I love that it's like cute little dusty pink. Uh, it's Belle sitting reading a book and it says bibliophile. I actually was concerned about the sizing Normally I get a medium in the unisex and that's what these last two shirts were. And this is a women's relax fit shirt. And I thought for sure I would need to get a large, but they were out of large. So I got a medium and thankfully the medium still fits. And the next one is purple. We got Jasmine on, on the flying carpet with Abu with a book as well. But that books can show you the world, and it's very true. You can absolutely use books as a way of traveling if you can't travel yourself. Which, with the pandemic, and looks like the pandemic will still be continuing because of Omicron, this is a great option if you're if you don't feel comfortable in traveling. And the last Disney shirt is Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. He's one of my like favorite characters. Growing up, I've, I've said this before on my channel, but I haven't said it recently. Growing up, my little sister loved Winnie the Pooh so much and became such ingrained in her personality that my parents then gave us each Winnie the Pooh nicknames and we were almost like assigned that character because Winnie the Pooh became that much ingrained in our household because of my sister loved it so much. She was Winnie the Pooh, obviously, and I was Piglet. 
So we just had to have this. And it says, a good book is a good friend. I always pick it because I helped with cleaning a lot, but honestly, that was some foreshadowing. I'm such an anxious person now. Now the rest are handbags that I have. So when I said I hyper-focused, I especially hyper-focused on those stupid, I say stupid, not so stupid since I spend all this money on them, um, these Loungefly mini backpacks. I love mini backpacks in itself, so I already had a few to begin with. And then when I realized they came in like Disney prints, all bets were off. All bets were completely off. But these are the obviously bookish prints that I have because obviously a lot of the um, what's the word the characters that Disney uses come from book influences so I could in theory show everything that has a bookish character on it but I'm not going to do that I want to show what's obviously very bookish and also what I bought within the last two months or three months rather you know what I mean the first mini backpack is this beautiful bag. As you can see the stack of books and each one is designated to one of the princesses. And if you look closely, I don't know if you can really see, but that is a book, an open book says once upon a time. And then if I just kind of like turn it around, you can see all the different sidekicks are just writing writing a book, writing the book that's uh, associated with that princess. The lining is just as pretty as well. And I love the gold hardware. I'm obsessed with the gold hardware. And of course, we had to have the matching wallet too. I try to get a matching wallet, but I, I haven't always been successful, but for most of these bags, I was able to get the matching wallet. Speaking of which, I don't think, oh, I do have it, Never mind. I was about to say, oh no, I don't have the matching wallet to the other one, but I do, I do, I put it away. I put it away in, in the bag itself. And the next one is the companion bag. And I was like, oh no, they made a companion bag. And if I want like the full set, I won't have to get this one. I say have to, as in I have to, no. Obviously I didn't, but I really wanted the set. And this is the Disney villains. As you can see, it's just bookcases filled with um, books with the occasional one that's named after a villain. We have the evil queen, we have Maleficent. Maleficent, excuse me, Ursula, Hades, um, Chernabog from Fantastic or Fantasmic. The shirt that I just showed you. Why am I having the biggest brain fart? I can hear the music too. Dun, 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 dun. I want to put the overlay here. My memory decided to play games right now, but that's what it looks like. We have um, silver hardware for this one. And if you open it up, the inside is definitely more like a graffiti-esque sort of thing, which I think suits the vibe. And if I open it up, we have the matching wallet that looks exactly like the bag itself. Now when that came out, there was this bag that also came out around the same time. It sold out almost immediately. I had no chance of getting it. And then Loungefly said they were bringing it back. But when Loungefly said they were bringing it back, all the resellers then were forced to actually bring down their prices to a more reasonable level. I understand resellers need to make a living, but they get really obnoxious and unrealistic with some of their prices. Like this, the bag that I'm about to show you was originally $100 and someone on like eBay was trying to sell it for $700. I saw someone else trying to sell it for $1,000. I'm like, it's not, at that rate, I, I'm buying a Gucci bag. I'm not buying this. A couple months had gone by and Loungefly said they were bringing it back and this person went went to sell it for 140. I'm like, all right, I don't mind giving you a little bit extra. I understand that you need to make some money but that's as high as I'm willing to go. But without further ado, this is the bag itself. It's gorgeous. It looks like just a stack of books. So if I hold it this way, stack of books. And then when you open it up, then this is where they got me and this is why I really wanted it. We have the due date card from w Wicked Public Library, title Villains Collection. And the people who took it out was the Huntsman back in 38, Pain and Panic back in 97, Jasper and Horace back in 61, Flotsam and Jetsam back in 89, and Diablo back in 59. I think it's really cool that the dates that they included is when these movies came out. And this side opens as well. And so you do have to zip it from the top. 
Ooh, the zipper's a little stuck. That's not good. All right, there we go. And it opens like that. Thankfully, not all the way. And this is the lining. The lining is basically the, the pattern from the other bag I just showed you. It came with a strap, so I could, in theory, have it on my shoulder instead of just having to hold it by, um, by this. And when I do use this, I can use the other wallet that goes with the other bag. And this last bag is my, my last purchase. That's when I realized, oh crap, I'm kind of like officially out of space and I seriously need to cool, cool it on the spending. But it's the Snow White bag. This is like the book that they used in the beginning of the movie. Snow White was, is, I was gonna say was, but is, is my favorite Disney princess. I was obsessed with Snow White growing up. And so when I saw this, I'm like, oh, I kind of want it. I really want it. And I really like when you open it up, is this fun, uh, bright turquoise color. And it's, on a chain strap as well. I like how it looks like a really dis um, a distressed older book. It is a little rough looking because I did buy it second hand, but I love it. I love it so much. So that's it. That is my recent um, Disney bookish haul. Let me know down in the comments your favorite thing you saw today. Uh, what do you hyper focus on that's not technically bookish? What brings you joy? And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I guess it's ta-ta for now. Bye guys. I just realized as I'm filming the thumbnail, I'm like, oh, I, co I totally could have worn this the entire time. Oh, wax, earwax, but here you are. Mm. All right, for, for real now, bye.